and welcome to another episode of I Demand a Homestead. My name is Amanda, and today what we're going to be talking about is, is well, the benefits of vertical gardening. Um, this is kind of something that I never really considered before because I had a fairly large space um, for my vegetable gardens, if any of you have seen my kind of previous videos on everything that we've been growing. And so I never really felt the need to kind of grow vertically. Um, but I have to say, I am now a complete convert um, and vertical growing. I would never kind of, I would never choose to do um, certain crops any other way. So today we're going to be talking about the benefits of vertical growing for your own space and kind of things that you need to consider. All right. So let's talk, let's start talking about the good stuff. Um, and I think the most obvious benefit for vertical growing is, is that you can grow more in your space. Um, so whatever space that you have, if you, if you think about it kind of like as a, you know, length by width kind of thing, and that's how much you can grow. If you add in a trellis, then all of a sudden your growing space is so much huger. Um, and if you have a small space, this is definitely the way to go. Okay. So that's number one. You can kind of grow more in a small space and you can also layer your crops so that that way you've got something kind of growing up on the trellis and maybe that's what needs a lot of light and then you can have things growing down on the ground and those are the things that kind of can tolerate a little bit more shade and in fact um, so that's that's number two which is layering crops right and in fact you can do it in such a way that you create some microclimates for those crops um, so the, you know, if you live in a place where it gets really, really hot in the summertime or, or, you know, um, you know that certain crops like lettuce or spinach would tend to bolt in the high temperatures, you can deliberately plant something, plant them underneath something that is actually going to shade them. All right. And that's going to kind of allow you to grow a certain crop that you might not otherwise. All right. So that's number three, which is microclimates. Um, the other thing that I really love about it too, which is kind of one of the reasons why I'm a main convert, is the lack of diseases. Um, I used to have lots of problems with tomato blight um, and and it just, you know, you'd prune them, you'd try and keep them, you know, the, the, the um, you try and keep the rain from splashing up onto the the rain splashing mud up onto the, the branches of the plants. But regardless, I always ended up seeming to get blight, but not with my vertical trellis tomatoes because I can kind of control exactly where they're going. Um, they're, they're kept up and away from the ground completely. I prune off the bottom leaves. And so we, we've had no blight at all and we've had tons of rain um, this year. So the one thing is you keep your vegetables off the ground, but then also because by growing up, you actually get a lot more airflow between your plants. And so that is also good for preventing diseases. Growing up is actually can help you prevent a lot of pests from getting at your plants as well, because a lot of pests are down in the soil. And when your plants are growing up and away from the soil, they won't have as much opportunity to try and get those plants. I mean, obviously, if you've got pests that are flying, that it won't it won't help that. But for anything that's down in the soil, like slugs or um, pill bugs or things like that, or earwigs even, that'll help keep those away from your plants. Also, if you live in a small space and you're kind of looking for a little bit of privacy, you can even use um, a trellis bean or something like that, or trellis tomatoes, um, to try and give you a little bit of privacy from your neighbors. Uh, because it will basically form a living fence. And that's another kind of great thing. You can actually use it as part of your landscaping and then it's going to produce food for you, which is wonderful. Another thing I should probably mention about vertical gardening is it's so much easier for harvesting um, ergonomically. You're not bending over as much, especially to pick these beans. It's so much easier. Um, and the last thing I would say is that the produce that you produce when you grow vertical 
is just beautiful um, because everything kind of hangs down um, with gravity. The beans are beautiful and straight. They're not dirty. Um, and again, the bugs haven't gotten to them and nibbled off the ends. So the tomatoes are perfect. The squash looks great. Um, so everything kind of grows up and away from the dirt and is quite unblemished and, and, and kind of beautifully shaped. And then of course, the last thing is, is the amount of volume that of crops that you produce. And you just produce so much more. Um, I had the same amount of space of climbing beans, the same row space. And I used to pick uh, probably about six quarts of beans every week from three 10 foot rows. Um, and I've got now three 10 foot rows that are, you know, a bean tunnel and up and trellised. And now I'm getting half a bushel of beans every week. It's just the, the increase in production is astronomical. I never would have thought that it would make that much difference. So um, as I said, I'm like a complete and utter convert um, to the vertical gardening method. In fact, I'm actually going to expand it um, so that I have these kind of um, tunnels over all of my rows. And that way I can kind of use them whatever I'm growing, or they'll just stay in place if I'm not growing things underneath them, but they'll always be there and I can make use of them. So, so I just wanted to kind of let you guys know, if you don't already know this, and maybe you're far ahead of, of me on this stuff, if you have a smaller space, but vertical gardening, super great. Um, definitely get on that. I have a video about how we created our bean tunnels. If you're interested in checking that one out, you can go to um, the I demand a homestead channel and, and find all those videos. All right. So if you guys have had your own experiences with vertical gardening, please let me know about them in the comments section. If you like this video, feel free to press the subscribe button and then the notification bell so that that way you don't miss any videos. And we'll be back again to talk to you guys soon. All right, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.